Hi, I'm Mark Smith. I'm Project Oversight One, in Lake City Construction Residency with FDOT. I'm going to talk about our project in Union County, Florida, where we added the rumble striping from Index 519. Our project was 15 miles in length. The rural area where we added the rumble striping from Index 519 accounted for about 12.2 miles of the project total length. We utilized MOT from Index 607 for a moving operation and took a modified approach by adding flagmen at each end of the operation as well as a pilot vehicle to control traffic flow throughout the working Area. We phased our project by accomplishing the edge line first and the center line second. The subcontractor arrived on site with a grinding vehicle that had a movable grinding head on the rear of the vehicle. He was followed by a QC personnel that consistently checked his width and depth of his grinding, followed by a cleanup vehicle which consisted of a back truck with a broom head that vacuumed the material off the roadway, deposited it into a dump truck using a conveyor system. Following this was the long line paint truck which striped paint on the edge line and on the center line. For the purposes of our operation and since it was added to our contract we elected to delay the thermoplastic striping until later. We began with the edge line starting out of town and proceeding into town. We covered approximately 24 and a half total miles in about 13 hours on the edge line. That's approximately 12.2 miles in and roughly 12.2 miles out. Once the edge line operation was complete we began the center line operation. Again, we used the moving operation with flagmen with a pilot vehicle and moving traffic over to the paved shoulder to transit through the work area. All of the same vehicles were utilized in the center line operation. We covered approximately 12.2 miles of center line grinding in roughly six hours. That put our grinding operation at a speed of anywhere between two and two and a half miles per hour throughout the entire length. It consumed roughly two days of our project time to complete the 12.2 mile run for the center line and the edge lines.